All right, guys, starting the vlog off the same way that I did yesterday, pretty much. He's so cute, and he's not flipping us off right now, so that's all good. Today, uh, I need to go down and grab scrap, and then it, I'm not going to do the funny thing that I did yesterday, because obviously I didn't get the flash cracker video done, but I want to try and work on that more today. I mean, it's only been four months so how, since Halloween, you know, this stuff's not done yet. It needs to get done. Done. Finished. Right? Get it done? Okay, obviously the reason that I couldn't show her, and I think I've got a fuzzy on the top of my lip. Hold on. Eh. Okay, hold on. Ah, take two. The reason why I think or I couldn't show her is because she was like breastfeeding, and then she had a little conversation with me. She said, "What did you ask me?" I said, "Are you gonna taste it?" And I was like, "Um, no." And she's like, "But it's good. It's sweet. It's sugary water. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Sugary water." It tastes good. I'm taste still it, like, no. Taste but, it warm before it goes in the fridge. <laughs> um, okay. So you guys think that I should taste it? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Of course, you guys want to torture me and say, oh, yes, do it. It's not torture. It tastes really good. <laughs> I know that a lot of you guys are haunters, and that's why you watch, but I need to ask you a question. Are you familiar with VidCon and Playlist Live? Now we know the Playlist Live is, it's like another 10 days, and it's in Florida, and then uh, VidCon is in California, and it's in like 120 days. I'm not going to make either one of those this year, but I was thinking that next year might be kind of cool to make one. Probably California, because that'd be easiest, so it'd be VidCon. But get to meet uh, Charles and Allie, Trippy, Shay Carl, he might be there. Smosh is going to be at VidCon and Jenna Marbles is going to be at VidCon and like a bunch of other like big huge YouTubers it would just be cool to like say hey guys how's it going I don't know just a thought anyway on to scrapping I stopped at Target I did not get the Ghostbusters shirt I did get the Goonies shirt um, I stopped there to get some pants and look for uh, I'm looking for clothes for Phoenix that say something about daddy because Lori Lee's gotten him a bunch of stuff that all say mommy and I want something that says daddy like Daddy is cool, and I, I did find one in there saying, uh, Daddy's wingman. And of course, the reason why I needed new jeans to begin with is because all my other jeans uh, got hauntified. <laughs> We're haunters. What happens to our clothes? They all get like totally ruined doing what we do, and great stuff is the number one culprit and paint and fake blood. So, anyway, um, off to back home, but I did get the Goonie shirt. There he goes. Now he sees me, but he's been sitting here for a little while, just like occupying himself, being all cool, being little baby, not screaming, just eating his hand. That's what he's been doing, just sitting there eating his hand. This is 100% the truth, guys. He is, well, he's not holding it back far enough. Hold on. <laughs> he's holding his own bottle. Aren't you? Daddy's got his hand bracing it over here, but he was. And he was, really, he was. He was holding his own bottle already. This is so freaking awesome. Every day there's something new with this baby that he does that just amazes me. And it sucks that sometimes I'm at work when it happens. <laughs> you know, he sounds like one of those dolls that you, like, drilled in the haunt. <laughs> Don't drill the baby. I'm not going to drill the baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, baby. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> Somebody stopped by. Look, it's Phoenix. What do know? Hi, guys. Wow, can you be any more flamboyant? Yeah. Hi, guys. No. No. What if I put my hand up on my hip? And when I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> wow. Thug life. <laughs> and you realize you woke me up from my cat nap? When? <sighs> when you pulled up. I told you I was coming over in a little bit. I know, I forgot. Like hey, an hour Troy. and a half ago. Well, uh, a little, yeah, I was going to say, a little bit for you is like two hours. Wait, wait, what? You should probably check the footage on your camera. Why? Because I stole <laughs> it while you were sleeping. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> don't tell them that. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'll, you, I'll find it when I'm editing, and I'll be like, what the hell is this? I don't remember. Oh, it's me. Was I snoring? Yep. Are you coming down to West Coast? No. You suck. I told you this already. I can't. I can't take time off of work. Oh. Well, you've told me, but you haven't told them. Sorry, guys. Can't take time off of work. Are you okay, bro? Mm-hmm. I think you've got something through your tongue. Oh, 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 dude, that seriously looked painful. <laughs> it isn't. He does have his tongue pierced, guys. <laughs> it's just freaky. Tell me that didn't freak them out or whatever. Okay, so anyway, Keith just got through asking me. Would you just get through asking me? What are we doing for the this year? Yes. What are we doing for the haunt this year? Haunt well, talk. Talking haunt with the haunters. If we do the same thing we did in the backyard again, the roof was a major, major, major thing. Major, major. We need to be able to get it tighter without ripping the plastic. We need to just put a, a building out back and just call it good. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sure the city's going to love that. <laughs> or whoever buys this house after I'm done with it. I make it sound like it's a disposable house. And eh, when I'm done with it, I'll just hand, toss it to the wolves. Uh, Here, peasant, take it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need it anymore. No. The problem that we had is that the water weighed the plastic down so much that it pooled. And it doesn't matter where we would have supported that from, it would have done the same thing. No, if we would have... Even if we had gotten it tighter, it would still... You've got the wall at well, the end no, of no, it. No, 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 I feel you. But it, we're going to have to build a peak next year, a bigger peak. Mm. And then we're going to actually have to run two by fours down. Remember when we would put a board somewhere for stability, like right next to it, it would create a pocket there too. But let no, me say no, my because you're going to look ignorant after I'm done. I'm going to look ignorant after he's done. So let's, okay, go ahead. You build your peak, right? Uh -huh. So you have your peak. Sticks up a little bit higher. If this is the peak running this way, okay, like so, it was last year. Okay, so, so this being peak, this is your gable wall. And this is your gable wall. Uh -huh. Okay. So the roof slants this way, and it slants that way over there. Okay. And then you do, like like I said, three, four foot to center, two by fours, from the peak all the way down. Okay. That'll give it enough support. It'll probably weigh the pass down a little bit, but there's going to be enough support on there, and I think it'll just roll. No. It won't pull. I think you're wrong. No. Again, you look <clears throat> right. I told you it was going to happen. It's inevitable. Oh, two things I'm thinking. Number one, the whole building is square. The whole haunt is square. That way we don't have to worry about any... Well, it's kind of off square, but okay. Well, we don't have to worry about any solarium or basement or anything sticking out. If we keep... Every, and I don't mean square. I'm sorry. I meant rectangle. Oh, okay. You know, we keep things 90 degrees so the whole building is contained. Yep. Then that'll make the roofing a lot easier. Next year? Agreed? Yeah. Yeah. No, this year. Yeah, because there's only how many days? Not enough. Yeah, not enough. The other thing is chicken wire. Chicken wire, like across the top? It'll probably work. I, it, it would work. It'd be easier if we could find scrap pieces because I know it can get pretty spendy. But the awesome thing about it is that at the end of the year, we can just roll it up and reuse it again. Why not just chain link? Well, if we could find chain link, but chain link is going to be pretty heavy. Your face is <sighs> But anyway. Chicken wire would be good, though. Okay, so let's agree on the fact that something needs to be done to the roof. I agree. I okay. concur, sir. Okay. Not only do I want to vlog what Keith is just about ready to say, I, I want to show you guys that we're talking about the haunt, and we're talking about changing things and whatnot. And the first thing that I brought up is that the entrance to the haunt, the foyer, I wanted to do it bigger this year, so you're actually going into... A four here. What I was saying now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Haunt Talk, by the way. Oh, getting old. Anyways, um, what I was saying is, like, what I would like to do is, if we open it up, the foyer, put lurch inside. You know, it, it's going to create another scare. Maybe not a huge one, but like a startle. You know, like, oh my god, what the, what's going on? But I was saying the way we could do this is, like, set a motion detector down by... I don't know, down by the feet or up in the corner of the post or something like that, somewhere where it catches them and then turns on the light in the corner of the foyer. Not a bright light because you don't want the light bright when you walk in, just something darker. 
And then that way, you know, when they're starting to come up, he can open the door and just kind of scare them because they won't expect the door just to open randomly. That, and he can go through a spiel right there. Help yeah. keep them a little dry. But I, I think it'll create another scare. And we have to have the door open inwards because we don't want it to open outwards where people might be standing. Uh, Boom! Look at, oh, damn. Is your nose all right? Dude. Sorry. Don't sue us. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, I think it, you know, the people inside or the ones that just go into the haunt that are actively going into it when he opens the door, them standing outside not knowing that, number one, he's going to be there, number two that he is in there they are not they are not going to know what happens to them once that door is closed because he's in there exactly. so they're going to be on kind of like emotional like high alert like what's this guy going to do exactly did i tell you my ideas on the drop panel poop on no really sorry <laughs> so anyway um drop panel all of them all six boom <laughs> Daddy needs a new gun. Put <laughs> my mommy. So hold on a second, though. Okay, if we do all six drop panels and we still have air, that's as much as we can ever do with that. I mean, we went from, like, what? Two drop panels. To one drop panel. To one with air and a big, impressive haunt. And now we'd be doing all six drop panels with air. And then after that, what do we do? Make the walls explode? At the end? We could. <laughs> We can only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> that one time is going to be scary as hell. <laughs> everybody everybody, gather together. You're at the end of the haunt. Great. Okay, stay there. And everybody say cheese and poof. That's something else I want to say is that this year we're not going to use uh, scrim or cloth transitions into egress areas. We're going to do push out wood. So from anywhere in the haunt, you push out and it'll open going out. But it won't be apparent from the inside the haunt that it's a door, but we'll know where it is. That way, people aren't going to mistakenly go the wrong way. Did they last her? Yeah, a couple people tried to. They thought that they were supposed to go through the scrim. Just saying. So, just to <laughs> let you guys know, we are going over the haunt. And Lori Lee has went to bed, but um, we'll get her input on everything that's going on, too. So, not leaving her out of it. Yes? yes? Yes. And I just want to say before you cut this off that you need to have fun editing this. Nothing changes, guys. He goes away for a while and nothing changes. And I don't think I'm going to cut that out. I think there's just going to be a whole lot of beep, 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 beep. But a lot of people can read lips, so congratulations. You made an ass out of yourself. That's what I'm good at. As with anything that Keith and I film, it usually takes me like three or two times as long to edit everything. Because if he's not doing something behind my back, I'm worried. That he's doing something behind my back. I wasn't doing anything that time, I swear. So, anyway, guys, uh, Facebook question of the day. 3, 10, 13. Halloween falls on a weekday. Do you take the day off from work? Do you take any time off to dedicate to the holiday? I have selected two comments. Two comments. Two comments. Two commentos, por favor. Excuse me. Dos commentos, por favor. Corinne Sanger, LOL, that is my prime vacation time. I take at least two to three weeks off. It takes me that long to set up as I do most of it alone. Jeremy Gessie, hell yeah, you would not be a true haunter if you did work on Halloween. Very true. <laughs> We're a bad Asian movie. <laughs> Hello. I kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like this. You challenged my daughter. Now he was fighting. <laughs> to the death. It's like, what? His mouth stopped moving 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Loving some cock right now. Let's go. How do you feel about that? I feel better in my life. <laughs> How do you feel about that? feel like a jackass. <laughs> Broberg Melissa. 
I gave up candy for New Year's. I'm now living vicariously through you on your recent candy ventures. Congratulations on being smoke free. That is an awesome achievement. Thank Good luck you. on being candy free. That is a horrible achievement. Well, I mean, it's a good achievement, but it's a horrible achievement. I can't do either. I know. Pandemic 270. 27 seconds. 30 seconds. Sounded like Butthead saying that. Uh, it quite possibly could have been. Because I've been to the top of the mountain, and it is good. <laughs> yeah, top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, Lake Titicaca. <laughs> I don't do any impressions, guys. Uh, you do an impression? <laughs> That's cool. You do an impression of a dumbass. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Todd's gonna kick her ass. <laughs> uh, Jason Daniel, Flashcracker Scare Video. Three hours later. Okay, well, it's been like three hours times many later because it's still not done. But... Um, I do have the music selected for it, and I have gotten the title sequence initiated, I will say. So, what? Huh? Procrastination. No, it's called Baby Nation. There's a nation of babies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't tell you what they do with their diapers. The Bloodshed Brothers. Double Bs. Hey, we got our own personal Bloodshed buddies. <laughs> Every, everybody should get their own. Uh, we had a blast at Trans World, and thanks. Totally surprised we won meets or meet lots of met lots of new people and got all sorts of drunk. Haha. Ha. <laughs> Always fun to be drunk. Yeah, especially at a convention. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I know you suck. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Am I the only one who missed the Facebook question of the day? Apparently so. It was at the end of the vlog yesterday. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yard of Terror, Kentucky. Hey, Troy, I had a blast at Trans World. I have so many pictures to post on my Facebook and blog from the show. It was my first time going to anything like that, and I was drooling on the dang floor when I walked in. LOL. Oh, and the people from Face Off stayed in my hotel, including the guys from Distortions. Got to talk with all the famous people. <laughs> I know. That, that is that is so cool, though. That's uh, Yard of Terror, Kentucky. Yard of Terror, Kentucky. Can you just do me a favor? And can you give me a wee doggy? And, it, yeah, I was going to say, you, you can't do yours because it's too loud right now. I can do it quietly. Wee doggy. Sasuk 10 fan. Any tips on how to get my haunt up and running? Plan. Strategize. Plan for the unexpected. Implement. Should do it. <laughs> Those are the biggest words I could think of at the time, so I figured they all flowed. Gothic Dorothy, gummy bears, nom. I don't like anything gummy. What the hell was that for? Because you said a horrible thing. No, the reason why is because my, my cousin gave me gummy for my birthday. No, it was Easter my birthday, one or the other, doesn't matter. Like a whole bag of gummy worms, and I mowed down on all of them and ate all of them, got really sick off of gummy, so I don't do gummy. Gump, you must mm, be a goddamn genius. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. Like a round peg in a square hole, I tell you what. Mike B, ah, Trans World just got back. Was it a dream? I don't know, was it a dream? <laughs> no, it was the best dang time ever. Now I have to start my second countdown clock besides Halloween, the Trans World countdown. You have to start your third one too, West Coast Haunters countdown. It's fun, be there. What are you doing? Nothing. You're a liar. I didn't do You're that. You're almost laying on the freaking ground. Well, I'm just chilling, you know. Like a villain? Hanging out, chilling, and relaxing all cool. Just trying to be <coughs> ball outside the school, you know. Okay. A couple guys that were up to no good. Did you know they started making trouble in my neighborhood? Really? I got one little fight. My mom got scared. She said, you moved here with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. Wow. Yeah. It was a tough life. Did you whisk for a cab? Yeah, and when it came near, the license, for, the license plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. Really? Yeah, if anything, I thought that this cab was rare, but I thought, no, forget it, you're home to Bel Air. <laughs> the next thing you're going to tell me is he told the cab driver, you, you know, you're home, smell you later. I did, honestly. Really? Yeah, and then I looked at my kingdom and I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Bro, I miss it. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Happy haunting, guys. Peace. We've got a haunt.